introversion for me, I think a lot of people assume that introversion is quite good in the room and the extroversion is the loud social kid, which I, I sort of get. But for me, introversion is about how you recharge. So introverts recharge on their own, solitary, chill, quiet time. Extroverts like to recharge in and around people, you know, the vibe of a party, that sort of feel. I am definitely an introverted person. I think now, probably if you were to meet me, I'd come across as a, a far less introverted than when I was younger, but I'm definitely an introvert. I was very, very shy as a child, very quiet. But I think if, like, if I was comfortable with you, then I was very much completely normal, not particularly shy. But particularly, I think in terms of like definitely new people or anything that's slightly out of my comfort zone, very, very quiet, very reserved and, and quite withdrawn as a child. So I, I, outwardly, I wouldn't come across as the most confident person in the world, but I think inwardly, I, I've always been quite confident in myself and my abilities and the things that I want to do. So I think, yeah, if you were to look at me from, if you were to observe me, you wouldn't have me down as a 10 out of 10 confidence, but I don't think I lacked confidence in myself. I, I think introversion and co confidence are two separate things for me. Albeit, it's very easy to assume that they are linked because someone that's introverted who tends to be a little bit more quiet and withdrawn, you might think that they're less confident. As a kid, I definitely didn't struggle with the confidence, but I didn't really, I wasn't particularly brilliant in social situations. And I needed that time to recharge. So, listen, I loved playing with my mates, playing football, whatever, all that sort of stuff. But then at the end of the day, it was really important to me that I could just sort of chill out and do my own thing. And, and to be honest, it is still like that now. And I'm actually quite fortunate because my fiance, Robin, is also well, she's actually far more introverted than I am. So yeah, and interestingly, I do think the older I've got, I'm probably less introverted. I would say the one thing that did I did struggle with and I really had to work at it would definitely be public speaking. And I think I'm still working at it to this day. And this is the thing that I, I talk about this a lot, actually. And it's a little bit different with public speaking, but I think the concept will make sense roughly. When I first joined the gym, 16 years old, I went in and I did a bicep curl and I thought, oh my God, everyone's looking at me and staring at me, who's this new kid in the gym that doesn't have a clue what they're doing? And then in reality, all of those people were probably thinking something fairly similar, right? They were generally just thinking about themselves. Now, I understand with public speaking, you're almost the odd one out in a sense, because you're stood on stage, but for the most part, people aren't that worried about you and they just, they're there, they're listening to you generally, because probably because they want to find something out or they're just interested. So I think if you approach it from a place of you have value to offer people, I think it makes a difference. For me, honestly, just practice, 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 just doing it time and time again. And by the way, you don't even have to do it in front of people. You could just do it in your room on your own. There's a really cool uh, quote. I don't know if it's a legit quote or not, I've seen. Uh, I think they say it's supposed to be from Winston Churchill where it says, I'm just preparing my impromptu remarks. And I thought that was really cool because you, know, you can prepare things like this. You can have little snippets of sentences or paragraphs or remarks that you prepare in advance that you can then refer to as you're talking. So I think, yeah, Practice is really important. Even you know, speaking to camera like this. At the start, it was I was so bad. And you, honestly, you can ask Robin recording the first YouTube video. I just it, I, it was just something that was alien to me, and it's, it's something that I wasn't really used to. Now, like I've said, I don't. I'm not necessarily sure. Confidence, introversion, extroversion. I'm not sure how they're linked. I just, I just don't know. They may be, they may not be. But I mean, we were just chatting to James then, and I think that by the nature of being an introvert, maybe you tend to push yourself out into less social situations and maybe that's where you can sort of, have, people will have the impression of introverts being less confident, I'm not sure. But I do think that confidence in many respects is something that can be trained and it's something that you can learn. And so much of it comes down to where you are mentally and even you know the way that you move and the way that you act. So regardless of whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, you can definitely learn confidence and the, the things that will allow you to be more confident or appear more confident. Was Joe an introvert? Don't Excuse think so. He's more like a hybrid. Joe's like a, an extremely well-rounded human being. So yeah, he's more like a hybrid, I would say. Maybe more, well, I'd say lean towards being an extrovert. We're very similar in some ways, but very different than others as well. Joe, Joe's a very good people person. Very, very good. But I'm very fortunate actually to be surrounded by a lot of very good people, people, people. And I learn by watching. So did Joe sit me down or did Steve, for example, sit me down and teach me certain things not really but learning by watching has been really important to me maybe because i am more introverted and would spend more time sort of recharging on my own i didn't develop the people skills that i think would probably well i definitely didn't develop the people skills that i have now as quickly as i would like 
So I was fortunate to be around people that had great people skills that I could really watch and observe and see what they did, understand what they did, why it worked and why they did it. And then I could sort of try and do it myself. And I think over time, as I tried those things, it worked for me. In my experience so far working at Gymshark and working with large teams and people, being introverted has helped me in a way because I think you'd be surprised by just how many people across businesses are actually introverted. And I think I could definitely connect with those people particularly well. I've learned maybe to connect with people that are more extroverted and understand how they work and why they work that way and, and so on. But I think I've definitely got this uh, innate ability to connect to introverts just because I am one, essentially. I sort of called myself out a little bit and I realised that Especially as Gymshark grew, more and more people wanted to talk to me, interact to me, with me and ask me questions, which is cool, right? I think people wanted to understand what my job was, what was going on at Gymshark and all that. And I realised that in me being awkward, it made them feel more awkward. So it was like, it was actually, in, it was almost selfish of me to not take time to become better at this, because then I'm in, by becoming better at essentially interaction with people, becoming more confident, it made them feel more comfortable. And that's where I really learned, right? The more people that I would meet, the more confident I would be. Ali Abdal, who we were with the other week, he had a saying, I think he, I, I remember watching one of his videos a while back and it really resonated with me because it's something that I'd done and tried to do without realizing it. And he said that he'd read in a book about when you're meeting people, just go first, you know, introduce yourself first, put your hand out to try and shake their hand first, all those sorts of things. And generally that really works. And I think that whole go first mentality, which by the way, I take no credit for, I'd inadvertently tried to do that and it made a massive, massive difference. So yeah, these sorts of traits, I think you can learn them. I think you can try and work out how it works. And I've consciously worked. It's been in my development, public speaking, go first, all these sorts of things. It's been something I've consciously worked on for the last few years. And it's, it's definitely paid me back a million times over because it's completely changed my life. I think I'm definitely an optimist though. I tend to think things will work themselves out. There's been times in the past where I've had huge problems that I felt like I need to solve. And I'm just quite comfortable on just sitting on that problem and just waiting for the inspiration to come to me. And sometimes like consciously going out and trying to find that inspiration, whether it's going out for a walk or going to London or whatever, just trying to find that inspiration to solve that problem. So I think inherently, I think I do have an inward confidence in myself, the people around me and our ability to solve problems. But obviously, listen, everyone has self-doubt. Self-doubt, I've had self-doubt before I've stepped on stage. I've had self-doubt in some of the decisions that we've made. I've had self-doubt in, in my ability at times, but I think when I do have that doubt, I try and assess what that doubt is around and then just really lean into trying to fix it and improve myself so that that goes away. Funnily enough, in the last few years particularly, as Gymshark's become more and more successful, I've been very fortunate and I've been able to travel the world and I've been able to meet a lot of very successful people. And you'd be surprised actually, there, there are as many introverts as extroverts and they're brilliant in their own way and they do their own thing and they've learned to really lean into their skill set in, in the ways that, by the way, extroverts have too. And I think that's really, really exciting because, listen, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert, whatever you're good at, whatever you're bad at, you can just you know, practice and work on yourself and, and get yourself to a, a place where you are really becoming the best version of yourself that you possibly can be. And I think that's a very optimistic thought for anyone that's introverted or extroverted.